Today we'll see one of the real-time requirement that is live management system using PLSQL. In this video, we'll cover three conditions. First one is that whenever an employee joins the new company, how the lease will be credited to him. The second condition is that how the lease will be carried forward at the starting of the year. And the third condition is that instead of doing, instead of executing the procedure manually, we can schedule that schedule the procedure so that it will run automatically no need of manual intervention. If you want to solve this requirement, you should have a better understanding of the following concept. To care, C-state and user, these are the pseudo columns. Case statement, trunk. To handle nulls, we'll make use of NVL and is not null. DML statement, commit, transaction control language. Next one is the procedure in and out parameters. Anonymous block. Anonymous block is used to execute the procedure. DMMS scheduler is used to execute the procedure automatically. This is used for scheduling so that it is easy to solve the requirement. First one is to extract the day of the month. See state, today is 12 June, June 2021. So I want the day of the month. By using to care, we can able to achieve to care of sister DD. So it would be 12. Next one is the I want the number of the month. So June in the sense like six to care of sister MM06. So dynamic SQL. If you want to execute any DDL statement, we'll make use of dynamic ex, uh, dynamic SQL. That is execute immediate. This is the syntax, execute immediate and the DDL statement. The reason for using dynamic SQL is that we can't able to use DDL statement directly in processor or function. That's why we'll make use of dynamic SQL. Next one is the C test. The syntax would be like create table, table name as select star from old table name. It will create, it, is, it will create a copy of the old table. Next one, all objects. This is one of the views provided by the Oracle. All the objects, like whenever any object like processor, package, table created, an entry is made in this view. These are the important columns, owner, who is the owner, what is the object name, object type, whether it is a processor function or table, when it was created and when it was changed, what is the status, like it is a valid or invalid status. Next one is the processor. The syntax would be create or replace processor, processor name as begin. This is a sample processor. Hello world. So if you want to execute that processor, we'll make use of anonymous block. So begin and so output would be hello world because we have print dbms underscore output that will, that will use to see the result on the console. Next one is the if and end if. This is the conditional statement. In order to get any conditional check, we'll make use of if and end if. If 100 greater than 50, then we, we are displaying 100 is greater than 50. Else, 50 is greater than 100. We know that 100 is greater than 50, so first block will be executed. Output would be 100 is greater than 50. Next one is the DBMS scheduler. This is the uh, package provided by Oracle to schedule any package or any function or any SQL statement. The syntax should be like this, DBMS scheduler dot create job, the job name, the name of the job we need to provide, job type, whether it is stored processor or uh, anonymous blog or something like that. And job action is the processor name, what, which is the processor we need to execute the start date, when it needs to be started. Like it needs to be executed like yearly or monthly or daily. It needs to be enabled. The first requirement is that lease addition. Like whenever an employee added, an employee joined a new company, the lease will be credited to him. So in this requirement, I'm considered the lease from January 1st to December 31st. So. So complete lease will be credited to him at the starting of the 
when he started when he joined the company the leaves will be created for entire year the requirement is that for casually for one month it is 0.5 days for sick leaves one month it would be 0.5 days for unleaves it would be one day so when uh, like uh, the requirement is that casually sick leave will be 0.5 days and unleaves will be one day so the if the employee join between 1 to 15 days like the full day like that is 0.5 day will be created for casual and sick leaves for on one day for unleaves if the, if the employee joined greater than 15 days half of the leaves will be created like in the sense like 0.5 half in the sense 0.25 for casual and sick leaves and 0.5 unleaves the requirement understanding should be very clear so that we can able to do the uh, we can able to execute the like we can able to write the code properly so we'll see one more time like exact condition is that we are considering the leaves from january 1st to december 31st so casual leaves and sick leaves for one month we are adding 0.5 days for unleaves we are adding we are adding one day if the employee joined between 1 to 15 days we are adding 0.5 that is full day and one day for unleaves if the employee joined greater than 15 that is 16 to end of the month he should get half of the leaves that is 0.25 day for casual and sick leaves and 0.5 day for unleaves so this is the table employee id date of join when he was joined and casually sick leave if you see the first record the employee joined on january 1st so for so you should get all the leaves like 12 into 0 0.5 that is six casually six six leaves and 12 into 1 12 and leaves so second employee he joined on 16 january so he should get half of the month that is 5.75 5.75 and 11.5 suppose a employee joined on june 5th he should get like 3.5 3.57 this is the requirement we'll start the requirement by using procedure create or replace procedure procedure name one input parameter one output parameter input we are passing employee id and output we are passing like success or failure so two care of c state dd mm so we are extracting day day of the month and uh, number of the month so this value should be passed into variables that's why we are declaring two local variables l joining day l joining month both are numbers so we are assigning into l joining day and l joining month we are declaring three more uh, local variables that is l casual l sick l and leaves so these are for storing the values so here the exact requirement like uh, the logic is here if the employee join bet uh, between less than 15 then what we are doing then we uh, we know that in a year we have 12 months 12 minus l joining month l joining month is the sense like when he joined the company if he joined less than 15 we are we are adding full day of the month that is 0 0.5 12 minus l joining month into 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 0 0.5 why we are adding in a sense like he's joined fully like less than 15 day only then we are adding 0 0.5 in a similar way for sick leave also same condition into 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 for unleaves in plus one we are adding one if the employee joined greater than 15 what we are doing we are doing l 12 minus l joining month into 0 0.5 half of the month that is 0 0.25 we are adding similarly for sick leave also same condition 0 0.25 we are adding for unleaves what we are doing we are adding half of the month that is 0 0.5 this is the logic we need to understand so once we get the data we are inserting into l leave data details table employee id date of joining casual leave sick leaves unleaves so p employee id is the parameter passed from the user this is state l casual l sick l and so in order to commit this transaction we'll make use of commit the tcl statement transaction commit language 
once everything is done what we are printing we are printing to the user like leaves are created successfully for employee id p employee id the p employee id is the parameter for pass from the user this is the end of the processor we'll execute the processor by using anonymous block so one input parameter one output parameter 103 is the input parameter and pms is the output parameter so in order to see the result we'll make use of tbms output once this block executed 103 entry is made 5th is june 3.5 3.57 Seven in the sense like he joined on June. So seven leaves will be created and seven and leaves, 3.5 sick and casual leaves will be created to him. Once everything is successful, we'll show to the user like leaves are created successfully for employee ID 103. Hope this is clear to you. So once that procedure is executed, a entry is made. The second requirement is that leaves Roll, roll over. There is low, low, roll over in the sense like at the starting, we are cons our requirement is that the leaves are created from uh, like January 1st to December 31st. So at the starting of the year, we need to uh, carry the leaves, like uh, carry the leaves to the employees. So requirement is that like this. So this is the condition. January 1st, we are considering from January 1st to December 31st. We know that casual for one uh, for one month, casual leave and sick leave is 0 0.5. For entire 12 months, we need to add six, six casual leaves and six sick leaves. 12 and leaves. And leaves only will be carry forward. The rest of the things will be zero. 0 plus 6, 0 plus 6. We are creating one more processor, create or replace processor, leaves rollover. We don't have any uh, input parameters. We have only one output parameter, PMS, whether the leaves are created successfully or not. Execute immediately. This is the dynamic SQL. What we are doing is here is we are creating one table. This is used for backup. Leave details to care of DD, MON, YY. That is at the starting of the year, we'll get the data like leave details 01 Jan 2022, the time, exact time. This is used for backup. Like if any changes happen, we can able to ex uh, can able to check this table. This is for backup purpose. Next one is that we need to update leave details table. Set casual leave equal to six. What we are doing, we are just updating casual leave because casual leave and sick leaves are not carry forward. That's why 12 into 0 0.5, we are adding six. And the unleaves are carry forward. So unleaves plus 12. So we need to update like when it was updated and uh, when it was, who it was updated by. Sys state is the current, it will give current date and time. User in the sense like who logged into the particular, uh, who executed this procedure. If you see this one, I'm not putting any where condition. The reason is that the leaves will be, uh, this should be applicable to all the employees in that particular company. And if you want to commit this transaction, we'll make use of commit. P message. So we need to display to the uh, like uh, to the user like leaves update successfully for all the employees. All the employees in the sense like we are not putting anywhere condition. One more uh, condition is that we need to handle carefully is that if if uh, if the unleaves are null, if null plus anything, what will happen? Null will come. This is a bug. We need to handle by using NVL. NVL of unleaves comma zero. If unleaves are null, what we are doing? Zero. Zero plus 12, 12. If you don't handle what will happen in the sense like null plus 12, null. Whatever the operation we perform using null, we'll get null only. That's why we need to handle null, NVL. And then similarly, uh, this is the same, same thing only.
one more condition is that in a, some companies like uh, unleash should not be greater than some something in this requirement we are considering unleash should be only 40 it should not be greater than 40 so for this one what we are doing everything is same for unleash we are putting one case statement case when nvl of unleash unleash plus 12 greater than 40 what we are putting we are simply putting 40 else what we are doing unleash plus 12 this is the case statement we are using and this is state and updated by user so we need to understand case statement like uh, if you know the case statement it would be easy to understand this requirement so how we will execute we will execute by using anonymous block so we, have, we don't have any input parameter only one output parameter that is message if you want to see the result we will make use of dbms output once everything is done we will get the pop like leave subject successfully for all the employees if you see this one six 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 so all the six are completed and six and the leaves are and leaves are carry forward if we did if you see this requirement employee ID, casually sick leaves and land leaves so 631 62.50 what will happen we need to update all the fields to 666 sick leaves to 666 and unleaves what we need to do 12 plus 12 24 38 plus 12 what will get 50 10 plus 12 22 our requirement is that it should be less than it should be less than or equal to 40 so 38 plus 12 what will be 50 so our requirement is that it should be 40 only so by using case statement we handle this one and the third condition is that we need to schedule this package procedure automatically it is like dbms scheduler job name is like what is the job name we need to put what job type it is a stored procedure job action like the procedure name we need to put our procedure name is leaves all over when we need to start uh, this year completed like next year we it needs to be started at uh, january 1st 0001 that is at the first second of the january 2020 we need to 2022 we need to execute this procedure it is like frequency is like yearly so it should be executed yearly 2022 2023 like that enabled is true so if you solve this requirement what we understood like we have understood like these are the concepts so if you solve one one requirement these concepts will be understood try to solve this type of requirement so that concepts will be clear and logical thinking will be improved So next upcoming video is that Oracle views. Oracle provides so many views, like all the information can be get, uh, get by using these objects like Oracle views, all objects, all source, like all the procedure function code will be stored in all source about the tables, about index and about views and what are the errors are there in the table or in the function or in the process. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.